Yahweh shall destroy all rule and all authority and all power. Yahweh shall destroy all rule, all authority, and all power. Shalom, Mikeims. This is your Hebrews, like brother Meshava, here in the city of Detroit. We'd like to give all praises and all honors to Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem, Rakapadash. Double honors to the apostles and elders of the great millstone that taught us this truth. Peace and salutations to the hopeful elects. Shalom, Markims. Welcome to today's lesson. It is on uh, Yahweh Shai shall destroy all rule and authority and all power when he come. Okay. And this is assured what he's going to do because in the day of the Lord, the only power that's going to be exalted in that day is Yahweh. That is it. So 1 Corinthians. Is it 1 Corinthians? Yeah, 1 Corinthians chapter 15, verse 22. We're going to go straight on off into the word. This is 1 Corinthians chapter 15, verse 22. For as in Adam all die, even so in Christ shall all be made alive. Let's read that again. For as in Adam all die, even so in Hamashiach Yahushai shall all be made alive. Through who? Through Yahushai. But this all is talking about all that Yahawashai has created. Verse 23. But every man in his own order, Hamashiach Yahawashai, the first fruits, afterwards, they that are Yahawashai's at his coming. You see, when the time comes, he's going to do all that 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 is laid out in prophecy to do and he's gonna is it make sure and uh strong who the men of the lord are okay when he gets here when he come we we also going to receive our spiritual powers we're going to receive receive deliverance we're going to receive what we need okay that we be sustained the cometh then verse 24 then cometh the end when he shall have delivered up the kingdom uh, to God, even the Father, when he shall have put down all rule and all authority and power. You see? You see? This is what the Lord is coming to do. Okay? For he must reign till he has put all enemies under his feet. You see, this is what, what he's coming to do. You see, the last enemy that shall be destroyed is death. Okay? When the Lord comes, you see, he's, you know, he's gonna, he, he, he even going to destroy death. For he has put all things under his feet. But when he, but when he saith all things are put under him, it is manifested that he is, is he, that he is accepted, which did put all things under him. You see, and so we come into understanding of that, okay. And when all things shall be subdued unto him, then shall the Son also himself be subjected unto him that put all things under him that God may be all in all. You see? You see? And so we come to the understanding of this. This is what, what, what it is going to be about when, when Yahweh Shai gets here because you're going to have, he's going to gather all the nations up. Zephaniah uh, chapter 3 verse 8. Wait on me to, to uh, rise up on the prey. For his desire is to gather up all the nations. Okay. Let's see. 
We're going down here to uh, Daniel's. Daniel chapter 12, verse 1. And it reads, And at that time shall Michael stand up, Michael the archangel stand up, the great prince which standeth for the children of thy people. Talking about the children of Israel, talking about the hope for the elect. And there shall be a time of trouble. What trouble? I'm talking about Jocko troubles. Proverbs, um, uh, talking about Jeremiah in chapter 30, in verse 7. Yeah. And so, alas, a great day shall come that shall burn as the oven, even if Jacob, even if Jacob troubles, yet he shall be saved out of it. Who's Jacob? I mean, who, 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 who is he? He is represented by Jacob. Jacob represents us. We shall be saved out of it up in the chariots. Okay, we are the people, the children of thy people. And where shall be a time of trouble? In that time of trouble, and yeah, it's going to be a time of trouble. It's going to be a time when you're going to have uh, martial law. You're going to have the martial law soldiers kicking in people's doors, going into their houses, killing people, raping and pillaging. The same thing that they're doing over there in Ukraine right now. They're going to be doing over here in uh, America to the American citizens. They're going to be kicking in their doors. They're going to be rounding up the young men. The young, young men are going to be rounding up for the draft. Age 18 through 32 is going to be taken up off the streets. Okay? That's the draft. Isaiah chapter 3, uh, verse 25, verse 26. You see? That's going, to be, that's going to be in full effect. And with that being in full effect, you're also going to have, you know, uh, a lot of different guys in the neighborhoods that's going to be going all all throughout the alleys and in between people's houses and different things because it's going to be curfew. It's going to be martial law. And when they say cur curfew, they're going to mean it because they're going to have those robotic dogs positioned at different ends of different major checkpoints. And when, and when they see someone break the field of their... Uh, 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 um, um, uh, uh, sensory, and then they will be alerted, and they're going to go after those robotic dogs. Are going to actually go run after people and be blasting them because they're going to have rifles uh, 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 mounted on the top of their heads, on the top of their backs, and they're going to be blasting people. Plus, they're going to be in sync with the drones, okay? Because it's going to be drones that's going to be uh, uh, circling overhead. Working in sync with also the androids. They're going to have robotic android soldiers dressed up like actual real men, but they're going to be robots. These things are going to be in full effect. There's going to be a whole new world, okay? Such as never was, such as never, and there shall be a time of trouble, such as never was since there was a nation, even. To that same time, you see, even to that same time, and at that time, thy people shall be delivered. You see, we shall be delivered. We are Jacob. We are the nation of Israel. Okay, the promise was given from Abraham, Isaac, to Jacob, not Ishmael, to Jacob. And when the time comes, when the hopeful elects are rise up, it makes it clear we shall be delivered. And when the chariots come, the curse upon the earth, they're coming to rain down judgment and destruction on one hand and deliverance on the other. Everyone that shall be found written in the book. What book? We're talking about the book of life. That book, that's the book that we're talking about. And many of them that sleep in the dust, the dust of confusion of the earth, uh, the, the dust in the dust of confusion, as well as in the dirt that sleep 
that pass on, okay, that pass on shall awake some to everlasting life, okay, joy and, 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 and happiness, and some to shame and everlasting contempt. You see? You see? That's just simply the way it is. Because many, many, many of us don't seem to realize, many, especially the two-thirds, the Edomites and heathens, but, but the two-thirds of our people don't seem to realize the reason why we are back here on the earth because we have sinned against the Father. You can't judge the spirit, but you can judge the physical body because the, the spirit don't feel pain. The spirit don't feel pain, but the physical body do. And so the Lord puts us inside of a physical body so that we so that he can judge us for our transgressions of this life and our past life. Because remember, we bear the indignation of the Lord because we have sinned against him. We sinned against him. Okay, so we bear the indignation of the Lord. So there's some things that we got to go through. You see, that's just simply the way it is. This is some of the things we got to go through, but we shall be saved out of it. Okay. First Corinthians chapter 10, verse 13, Yahweh shall make a way out for us that he shall not place more upon us than we can bear. Okay. Remember that verse three, and they that be wise shall shine as the brightness of the firmament because having this knowledge, this truth, Remember, Isaiah chapter 33, verse 6, And wisdom and knowledge shall be the stability of thy times, strength of salvation. The fear of the Lord is his treasure. Because the treasure of the Lord, having that, 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 that fear of the Lord, we learn the, this truth and this knowledge, okay? We learn it so that, we, that way we are sustained. We store it in our cistern, our spiritual cistern, so that we are sustained during the time of troubles. Okay? During the time of troubles. This, this word is what holds, holds us together. And they that turn many to, to righteousness as the stars forever and ever. Because that's what we do. Those of us that are that are chosen by Yahweh to be saved are automatically drawn to us automatically to receive the righteousness of this word, to receive the spiritual strength, the energy that, that, that they need, that spiritual edification. Okay. We're going to take it down here to, let's see. We're going to take it down here to the book. Of Revelations should be coming up right here. Revelation chapter 12, verse 10, and it reads, And I heard a loud voice saying in heaven, Now is come salvation. Salvation for who? Salvation for the hopeful elects. Okay. Romans chapter 11, verse 7. The oblation have obtained it, but the rest have not. Okay. And strength and the kingdom of our God and the power of his Hamashiach. For the accuser of our brethren is cast down. Cast down to who? Cast down to the earth. <coughs> Which accuses them before our, our God day and night. And we are accused day and night by Satan's physical counterpart, the so-called white man. The devil that the scriptures speak about. Verse 11. And they overcame and they overcame him by the blood of the lamb. You see, by the precious blood of Yahweh Shai, that we were adopted back unto the father. Romans chapter nine. And by the word of their testimony. What is the, what is the word of our testimony? The word of our testimony to test to to to, to uh, the spirit of testimony is to prophesy. Okay, is to prophesy. That's the spirit of Yahweh Shai is for us to prophesy. His, his testimony, not ours, because we don't have a testimony. It's Yahweh Shai's testimony that we preach and that we uh, 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 teach and reach about, reach with. Okay, it's his word. We don't have any prophecies. Yahweh Shai has prophecies. He is the prophecies. You remember, he, he, he come in the volume of the book. 
the whole, it is written of him to do thy will, O, o Elahiah. Uh, 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 Psalm chapter 40, verse 7, and uh, Hebrews chapter 10, verse 7. Okay? So we understand that. His testimony. And they love not their lives unto death. We don't. We don't love our lives because this is not living. We're living under all this tyranny, all this pressure, all this uh, uh, oppression, all this that, that, that makes a wise man mad. And we are wise men in this world, truly wise men. But we are oppressed day and night, even in our own homes, Micah chapter 2. Okay? We are oppressed. And so we're tired of this. You know, we're not living. We can't have our wives. We can't have, have, have our women because our women are turned against us. We can't have our children because our children are turned against us. Esau, the spirit of Esau is in the women and the children, and they can't hear anything other than the words of Esau, and, they, and the words of Esau is all lies and confusion and deception, okay, and distrust. You know, the Bible tells us, Sarai chapter 12, verse uh, 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 10, never trust thy enemy. For as iron rusts, so does his ways. Okay. Verse 12. Therefore rejoice, ye heavens, and ye that dwell in them. Woe to the inhabitants of the earth and the sea. For the devil is come down unto you. So-called white man. Having great wrath, because he knoweth that he hath put he, he, he has but a short time. And that's all. And, and so it's going to rain down. You know, Yahweh was going to use the so-called white man to rain down as a sword against the people, against the two-thirds. Because the two-thirds, remember, they're not going to learn this truth, accept this truth, until after death, by pain. Okay? When they're standing before the Father, when they reach into the spiritual world, that's when they're going to hear this truth. They can't hear it now. They can't hear right now. No, 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 no. But they're going to hear when the Lord makes it, uh, proclaims it, okay? And then they're going to have no choice but to accept it. And when the dragon saw that he was cast into the earth, he pursued the woman, that us Israel, which brought forth the man child, Yahweh Shai, and, and to the woman were given two wings of the great eagle, America, that she might fly into the wilderness of America until her place where she is nurtured for a time and a time and half a time. You see? And that's what we are. <clears throat> From the face of the serpent. Right here in the face of the serpent. Okay? We're hidden. Okay? And the serpent cast out his mouth waters as a flood, martial law troops, after the woman, okay, after us, and try to silence us, pretty soon it's going to be Amos chapter 8, verse 11, the silence, uh, 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 silence uh, uh, of the word, a famine of the word, okay, that's coming, okay, that he might cause her to be carried away of the flood. And the earth helped the woman, and the earth opened her mouth and swallowed up the flood, which the dragon cast out of his mouth. You see? So we're going to receive much help, okay, during the time of need. We're going to receive much time. We're going to receive our help. And the dragon was wroth, wroth with the woman and went to make war with her with the, rem with the remnant of, of her seed. And the remnant of her seed is us, which kept the commandments, that's us, of Yahweh and have the testimony of Yahweh Shah. And that's what we get. We got the testimony of Yahweh Shah. Remember to press the uh the like button if you like the spirit uh, spiritual edification that of uh, from the video that you are watching now. And if you haven't done so already, make sure you remember to press the subscription button. It helps out the algorithms of, of this YouTube channel and press the notification bell so you may re continue to receive uh, notifications uh, each time that I put out a video. Okay, so yeah, you know, it's going to be a truly a devastating thing when uh, uh, Jehoshaphat come because he's going to 
shut down all rule, all authority. Everything is going to be shut down. This is uh, Isaiah chapter 13, starting in verse 1. The burden of Babylon, talking about America, which Isaiah, the son of Amos, did see. Okay. Lift up a banner upon the high mountains. The banner is this word, and the mountain is America, and lifting it up high. Exalt the voice unto them like a trumpet, rise uh, 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 out loud like a trumpet. Uh, 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 Isaiah chapter 58, verse 1. I don't want to butcher it. <laughs> um, 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 we put forth this word, okay? Shake the hand of the noble. Okay, we we trim our ways that they that they may go into the gates of uh, even up to their faces of the nobles. Okay, and we do what we push this truth right in their face. Okay, um, but 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 we trim our ways so that we can do so. Okay, verse three. I have commanded my sanctified ones. That's us. I have also called my mighty ones. That's the angels for my anger. That's the angels. Even them that rejoice in my highness. You see? The noise of a multitude in the mountains, you know, that's the peoples, like as a great peoples, a tumultuous noise of the kingdoms of nations gathered together. Okay? that That's what's happening right now. So the people are gathering together. They're uproaring because they're tired of the different uh, rules, laws, policies, and different things that are here in this, this Edomite kingdom. Uh, that the so-called white man is using to tear down the people and to keep them uh, uh, downtrodden, okay? The Lord of hosts, of his armies, mustered the hosts of the battle. They come from a far country, from the end of heaven, even the Lord the, and the weapons of his indignation, which are those ICBM mi missiles, okay, okay coming with those nuclear warheads, to destroy the whole land, the whole land of what? America, to lay it waste, to lay it waste. How for the day of the Lord is at hand, okay? Because when the Lord, you know, um, Amos chapter 5, verse 18, woe unto you who desire to wait, that wait on the day of the Lord. For what end is it to you? For the day of the Lord is a day of darkness, not light. The day of darkness and no light at all. So many people don't realize only destruction, only destruction, it shall come as a destruction. Only destruction is what's coming. It shall come as a destruction from the Almighty. You see? Therefore shall all hands be faint, and every man's heart shall melt. When the, the, the time comes in the, the day of the Lord, when your house shall come, again, he's coming to destroy and uh, uh, to overthrow all rule, all authority, all power. When your house shall get here. And they shall be afraid. Pains and sorrows shall take hold of them. They shall be in pain as a woman that travaileth. They shall be amazed one at another. Their faces shall be as flames. And that time is coming. When that nuclear fire burns, burns the faces off the people, the eyeballs shall, shall fall out, 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 out of their eyes, right out of their sockets. Just melt right and roll right out down their faces, right on with, with their skin, down to their, their uh, 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 skeleton. These things is coming. That nuclear fire, that's what's coming. Like Sarah Connor in that movie, uh, Terminator. When she was holding on to the gate, hollering. And all her skin was being blasted off by that nuclear fire. All her flesh. It's like that. And that's what that's talking about. Verse 9. Behold, the day of the Lord cometh, cruel, both with wrath and fierce anger, to lay the land desolate, and he shall destroy the sinners thereof out of it. Okay. And so, so and that's a cold cut to those that we're talking at. The Lord hates the sin. He loves the sinner. No, he says right here that he shall destroy the sinners. Thereof, out of it. Okay, out the land. Verse 10. For the stars of heaven and the constellations thereof shall not give their light. 
the sun shall be darkened in its coming forth, in its going forth, and the moon shall not cause her light to shine. Because the moon is made of light. Okay? It is a light. It is not a solid, you know, where they can land on it. You know, that whole moon landing thing was all faked. Okay? I seen the fake vi I seen the video that showed the whole acting scene. They uh, filmed it over in the what, uh, a Walt Disney Studio over in uh, the, uh, the, uh, the uh, desert. Anyway, and I will punish the whole, I will punish the world for their evil and the wicked for their iniquity. To the time is coming. So many people got so much sin on top of sin. It's crazy. It's really crazy. Yeah. And I will call the arrogance, arrogancy of the proud to cease. And, and, and you have many people that are just arrogant and proud. And, you know, they got their jobs. <coughs> so I can, they got their positions on the jobs and different things. You know, you can't talk to them. You know, you got some people that that, that just a, a mess in the neighborhoods, how they keep so much confusion going. You got a, a lot of these women that have uh, been exhorted, exhort, authority over men. Uh, Jeremiah chapter 31, verse uh, uh, 22, I do believe that is. Uh, how long will you go about, old daughter, backsliding? Uh, the Lord has created a new thing in the earth for one will, will compass a man. The time is coming, you see, when, when these things, when the woman will not be able to exert authority over a man. All this proudness shall cease. Uh, uh, other men, simps. Simps, they cater to the women, you know, they're going to cease from their, their, their catering and kissing up. All that's going to cease. And we'll lay low the haughtiness, okay, this means spiritedness, of the terrible. They're going to be brought down to low in the time of the Lord. When the time when the Lord comes to a, a reign and rule and set up their government and the authority of the kingdom of heaven. <clears throat> Verse 12. And I will make a man more precious than the fine gold, even a, a man than the golden wedges of a fire. And that's precious gold. That's a precious great gold. Therefore, I will shake the heavens and the earth shall remove out of her place in the wrath of the Lord's host, Lord of hosts, and in the day of his fierce anger. You see? Because the time is coming. In that day, Yahweh shall come and he shall destroy and overthrow all rule, all authority, and all power. Verse 14. And it shall be as the chase roll and as a sheep that no man taketh up. And that's where America's going to be. No man is going to even want to have anything to do with America when the time comes, when America is shut down. Because all the merchants, all the many different people that was coming, that, that came here to America to make money, monies, and they sent monies back over to their countries, and they left and went back over to their countries, they're going to howl and wail because not for America, but for their riches that are was held here in America is going to be burnt up. All that they was able to do in America is going to be done and done for. And they show every man turn to his own people, okay, and flee everyone into his own land. And that's what they're going to do. That's what they're going to do. And everyone that is found shall be thrust through. That means shot to death. Shot to death. And everyone that is joined unto them shall fall. Remember, join unto the enemy. You know, we had to let them go when the time comes. Even if that enemy is, you know, a, a terror and that's a friend. Remember, uh, uh, Proverbs chapter 11, verse 28. Though, though join hand in hand, the wicked shall be punished. Uh, the seed of the righteous shall be delivered. Okay? Roughly paraphrasing Shalakia. 
the though joined hand in hand, the wicked shall not go unpunished. The seed of the righteous shall be delivered. Okay, when that time come, and so even though joined unto them, shall those joined unto them, everyone that is joined unto them shall fall by the sword. So when the time come, we had to let loose and let go of those that uh, are the wicked and those that wouldn't and, and didn't and, 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 and couldn't and wouldn't listen. Those that, that Acts chapter 3, verse 22, 23, uh, those that, that if they don't listen to the uh, prophets out here pushing this truth, then they're going to be destroyed. Okay, that's Acts chapter 3, verse 22 and 23. Okay, verse 16. Their children also shall be dashed to pieces before their eyes. And this time is coming. Just like over there in Ukraine right now, they're killing the children. They kill the children left and right. They don't care. If these mass killings right now and these schools and different things, they shooting up the children left and right. They don't care. They, they shoot them to pieces with AR-15s and AK-47s. Their houses shall be spoiled and their wives ravished. Okay? When that time comes, everything is going to be shut down here in America and it's going to be a place of hell right here on earth. And then you're going to have apparitions, ghosts, Demons appearing and disappearing, appearing and walking and, and and talking and grabbing at people, clawing at people, biting at people. People people's hearts are gonna faint, and many people are gonna just die from a heart attack just seeing a demon, just seeing one. Let alone one walking and talking and walking towards them, reaching out to grab them. You see, verse seventeen. Behold, I will stir up the meads against thee. The Medes are the Russians. They're going to be stirred up. Putin's going to launch an EMP, launch a thermonuclear bomb over America, 300 miles up, and that's going to cause an EMP, and America is going to be cast into a third world existence overnight. Like when in the 1800s, overnight. We shall not regard, guard, shall not regard silver, and as for gold, they shall not delight in it. Because you can't buy, America can't buy them th their way out of this this time. American government is in so deep on the other nations, the other countries, that they ain't trying to get, get no gold. And they just want to destroy America. That's it. Verse 18. Their bows also shall dash the young men to pieces. The young men shall be killed in the wars. And they're going to be killed here in the neighborhoods, right here in the streets. By the martial law police and militaries. It's gonna be it's gonna get crazy. It's gonna get crazy right here on the streets. A lot of people gonna be gonna be killing each other. Once the law, once the law shuts down, once martial law is declared, 911 is gonna be turned off. Once 911 is turned off, every that that's gonna be the time of lawlessness. The Bible says the time of lawlessness. Every man Woman and child is going to be on their they, they own. Every household is going to have to police themselves. They, they, these are the things that are about to happen upon the earth. Right here. And they shall have no pity on the fruit of the womb. They're not going to care about the woman's babies. They, they, they don't care about the children over there in Ukraine. They're killing them. That's the right. And over here in America, they're doing multiple shootings. Their eyes shall not spare children. And they're not. They're not sparing the children. Verse 19. And Babylon, the glory of kingdoms, the beauty of Chaldees, excellence, shall be as when God overthrew Sodom and Gomorrah. And Gomorrah. You see? You see? And we know and we and we and we, and, and we know from what 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 has been made clear to the understanding, the chariots that destroyed Sodom and Gomorrah. Straight up, flat out, destroyed it, okay? Because of the wicked thing that they were doing, the same wicked thing that America is doing. So you know how America is going to be destroyed, the same as Sodom and Gomorrah, you see. Verse 20, and it shall never be inhabited again, ever. And it shall never be inhabited, neither shall it be dwelt in from generation to generation. 
neither shall the Arabians pitch tent he there, neither shall the shepherds make their fold there, but wild beasts of the de desert shall lie there, and their houses shall be full of doleful creatures, and owls shall dwell there, and st stars shall dance there. You see? America's done. America's done. And the wild beasts of the islands shall cry in their de desolate houses, and drag Komodo dragons in their pleasant places, and her time is near to come. Talking about America, and her days shall not be prolonged. Talking about America, and all the rest of the nations that have fallen drunken to the wise and false philosophies of America. Okay, it's all going to be brought down to low. When your house shall comes, he's going to destroy all rule, all authority, and all power. Hopefully, you've been enjoying this video, and hopefully, you've been spiritually edified. We're going to bring this video to a close right now. We like to give all honors, and all, all power, and all praises to Yahweh Bashem Yahushah. Bashem Rakakodash, double honor to the apostles and elders of the great millstone, peace and salutations to the hopeful elects. Shalom to the hopeful elects.